What's up, everybody? Just got back from uh, trying out our, uh, woo, our new uh, uh, little, what is it, a, uh, a bike trailer for the kids to uh, get in and uh, I'll basically be pulled by you while you're doing a bike, uh, a bicycle ride, and uh, it is no joke. Um, I barely uh, ride ride my bike uh, at all anyways, and, uh, and literally 20 minutes of that was ridiculous. Um, uh, pulling two kids um, in a, a little bike trailer, um, crazy. Uh, so uh, I was just gonna get on here real quick, and uh, um, uh, today's devotional, uh, I was gonna share it with you. Uh, it is God's comforting greatness. Um, out of the uh, Simple Pursuit devotional. And uh, the scripture that it uh, comes out from is uh, Romans 11, uh, verses 33 through 36, New Living Translation. Um, it's, uh, it says, Oh, how great are God's riches and wisdom and knowledge. How impossible it is for us to understand his decisions and his ways. For who can know the Lord's thoughts? Who knows enough to give him advice? And who has given him so much that he needs to pay it back for everything comes from him and exists by his power and is intended for his glory. How often do we find ourselves thinking we know exactly what's best for us? Probably more often than we'd like to admit. Romans 11 speaks to our pride and foolish tendency to think we can figure things out on our own. It proclaims that God's greatness, wisdom, and ways are far above our own. And there is no greater wisdom and knowledge than that of the Lord. And everything on earth shows us and points us to this truth. Understanding God's greatness exposes our frailty and our fickleness. When we humble ourselves by proclaiming His greatness, we set aside our pride and make space to learn from Him. When we declare that God is sovereign, Above all things, we can easily see his glory and grace. The more we realize that God is in control, the more readily we shift our trust in ourselves to trust in God, which provides far more comfort than trusting ourselves ever could. We'll never have all the answers, but we know the one who does. So we can walk confidently and joyfully through whatever comes our way. I don't know uh, how many of y'all needed to hear that, but uh, no matter what is going up or down in in today's time and season that we are living in, that literally if we shift our eyes and focus on him, then we will have his perspective, which is the only perspe perspective that offers hope and mercy and grace for every single day, new mercies and grace, for every single day that we wake up and he knows what's coming, he's ready to prepare us, but yet our focus has to be on him. And when we focus on him and his presence, his comforting greatness is brought in to surround us and to actually give us a better look at the hope that he is bringing. And so hope you're all, you're all encouraged, and uh, um, I hope that you find your comfort in his greatness and his glory today. And so uh, let's pray. Lord, we just ask, Lord, that you would remind us today of your greatness. Humble us and help us and reach or teach us to trust in your truth. And we just ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everybody, be encouraged today. Um, uh, like, share. Um, what up, Krista? What up, Hope Fair? Uh, hope you guys are being uh, uh, being good, and uh, of course you're being good, but uh, doing well. And uh, hope you guys are uh, just uh, pursuing Him today. Alrighty, be God chasers out there, and uh, and change the world. See ya.